Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. I just wanted to quickly share with you Breathing Colors Sample Pack. I acquired this a while ago and I have yet to look at it until recently. Finally, once I did, I literally fell in love with these types of papers. What are they? They are canvases and they have different gloss levels. They're not all matte, they have different gloss levels. They have other included type medias that are heavy, thick type matte art papers. Some of them are textured, some of them are not. And again, they're really meant for a capable printer like a Pro 1000, a P800, the P900 from Epson, that sort of thing. I tried printing them on my 8550 and some of them literally failed because they're just too thick and there's no setting on the printer driver that can compensate for that thick matte or glossy or luster type canvas it's a little bit hard to handle for something like that that basically is designed to print on your rc type coated glossy and shiny papers as well as your thinner matte papers it does a fantastic job with those types of media but i managed to do at least a couple of prints that show you how beautiful this canvas is. Now these are a bunch of uh, oars from a boat that were painted bright colors. And of course they're a little bit weathered and that kind of adds to the whole flavor of the image. But again, look at the surface. This has received zero varnishing whatsoever. This is ready to be framed as is. Unless you want to add more gloss, I wouldn't imagine I would want to do that. They also provide you with a brushable or roll-on type varnish that you can get. It's designed specifically for their so-called gicle prints, which is basically a fancy French term for canvas prints. In other words, art type prints. So again, gorgeous. So I'm thinking this would be a really good idea to buy a roll of this loaded in my current P800 and begin to print some nice stuff, stuff on canvas. It'll be 17 by whatever I choose to make it. Now, I also decided to see, because on the 8550, I only have one option. I have to choose one of their matte settings and they have two of them, I believe. And so again, there's no profile for that printer for these types of media. They just feel that the 8550 is not a true photo printer, so they don't go through the trouble of creating profiles for it. They have profiles, however, for the actual claimed to be photo printers, you know, the pro something or other type models from Canon and Epson. But I just very curious the other day, I wanted to see whether I can produce a neutral black and white or monochrome result on one of these canvases. So I had a second sheet available. Lo and behold, I began to print and I got some head strikes. Yeah, as I thought. I had a bit of a jam. I had to remove the resulting uh, media out of the printer. I had about an inch of just the beginning of what would have been a borderless print like that one. But I was getting all kinds of head strikes on the edges. So I decided to take it out. I reloaded it after I kind of uh, decurled it a little bit. And on QImage, I loaded one single five by seven of this particular image. And as you can see, it, to me anyway, I don't know on video, but to me, it is dead on neutral. It really is, it's amazing. So I know for a fact that even using a so-called not meant for this profile for one of the Epson enhanced type matte papers, I was able to get a really true neutral result right off the bat. And looking at it, I'm, I'm getting some great blacks as well, as you can see right there. Again, don't be alarmed at the anything coming from the monitor being reflected on this uh, image because I have a lot of reds and a lot of uh, flesh tones bouncing off of these images. But as I look at it under my lighting conditions, 
it is really neutral. I didn't think it was going to be neutral whatsoever. But anyway, that is a good, good uh, result. And now I'm a little excited about buying some of this stuff um, and, and putting the P800 that I have been neglecting for quite a while now. I'm running OEM inks on it from large cartridges. So I should be able to get the best results possible. Again, what I would do, of course, is download the P800 profiles for all of their canvases and go to town producing great prints. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.